Everybody, welcome into Wager Talk TV. I'm Tony Mejia from SportsMemo.com. We're going to be talking about the first action in August for the United States women's Olympic basketball team as they will play their second game over in France, squaring off against Belgium. And the first test went really well for the United States. They destroyed Japan 102 to 76, despite Japan really being pesky both on the defensive end and pushing tempo and uh, firing up 39 three-pointers. Uh, they made 15, they hung around for a little bit, but uh, the U.S. were very decisive in what they wanted to do. They fed the post because uh, the tallest Japanese player was just six foot one. And so what the U.S. did was make sure that Asia Wilson and Brianna Stewart and Brittany Griner, when she came off the bench, eight and eight and eight. Uh, Maki Takata was uh, the tallest uh, Japanese player at barely six one. Uh, and so the U.S. really imposed their will, uh, just utilizing their size to get easy buckets around the rim. They outscored Japan 64 to 22 in the paint, won the Battle of the Boards 56 to 27, and had 16 offensive rebounds to create extra opportunities, coasting despite shooting just four for 20 from three-point range. And so this matchup against Belgium is going to be completely different and it'll be an opportunity for them to win a different way. Uh, and I think that's going to be really important going forward because uh, it all gets tougher from here. They they have uh, a final group game against a German side that's going to be undefeated. So that'll decide who wins Group C on Sunday. And we'll preview that later in the week. Um, you know, Germany will play Japan or beat Japan. And, uh, and so that'll set up a matchup with the United States, Germany and the U.S., played in London in an exhibition that the U.S. played really well in. Uh, but the second next test at the Olympics um, will be a lot tougher. Matchup here will be played on Thursday, uh, 3 p.m. in the United States Eastern Time from Lille's Pierre Maroy Stadium. That's where all the uh, preliminary matchups are being played before the knockout stages move to Paris. Uh, and so the United States in this game are 22 and a half point favorites. Uh, the total has been set at 162 minus 2,800 on the money line. If you just say, hey, I got a ton of money to burn and I want to win very little to uh, tie up my uh, my bankroll with it, uh, then you can bet the U.S. at minus 2,800 and uh, betting Belgium to uh, pull the outright upset is plus 1,300. But that is not advisable. I think the United States rolls here over Belgium, even though this is going to be a more challenging matchup than Japan was. And, and the reason for that is the presence of Emma Miesman, uh, who you might remember played for the Washington Mystics for many years, almost a decade. Um, she spent a, a one last season uh, back in 2022 with the Chicago Sky. Miesman is a former uh, WNBA Finals MVP, uh, so a, a really good player with a great pedigree. And uh, she will be a challenge in the middle. They also have Kiara Linskins, who is uh, also six foot four. So they're not going to be able to push around the Belgians like they did the Japanese. And running the show for Belgium is the Washington Mystics' current point guard. Uh, they will uh, ride her as uh, uh, somebody that can run the show and shoot Julie Van Lu, a 31 year old rookie. And, uh, you know, the reason that she and uh, Belgium got defeated as soundly as they did against Germany was that she really got no help. Belgium uh, lost that game 82 to 68, uh, pardon me, 83 to 69, and they trailed 25 to 11 after a quarter, trailed by as many as 22 points in that first half before a very solid second half uh, gave them some hope and uh, gives them a chance to advance because point differential uh, goes a long way here at the Olympics. Uh, so with Miesman, Linskins, and Julie Van Lu, they've got some options to tie up the United States with. Uh, Spain-based wing Antonia Dallaire shot one for nine against Germany, one for four from three-point range. In fact, uh, people not named Julie Van Lu on the Belgian side uh, shot one for ten from three-point range against Germany. Uh, so will Belgium challenge the United States? Yes. Will they cover the spread? I don't think so. I, I would tell you to bet the United States laying the 23 and a half team total here. The United States is at 92 and a half on the over uh, and Belgium's team total is at 69 and a half. I would say betting the low of the, the, the game total at under 162 is the way to go here because um, both 
Belgium and the United States will look to uh, feed the post some, uh, but Belgium won't play as fast as Japan did, firing up all those threes. So I think the game gets bogged down uh, a lot more. Asia Wilson's uh, points total is 21 and a half. I would take the under on that. I think the scoring is much better dispersed here. Uh, her rebounding total is 10 and a half. Uh, maybe take the over on that. I'll probably sit that one out. Brianna Storch's rebounding total for this game is eight and a half. Kelsey Plum, nine and a half points. She'll be coming off the bench behind Diana Taurasi. And my favorite play, in addition to laying the 23 and a half with the United States, is to back Sabrina Ionescu to top nine and a half points. That's available at DraftKings at even money. Uh, Ionescu led the United States reserves with 20 minutes of action off the bench and also scored 11 points, firing up seven three-pointers in 20 minutes. So clearly she's gonna be looking for her shot. I think she'll continue to be productive here against Belgium. And uh, I would expect her to be the X factor uh, on a bench that's going to play a lot better than it did against Japan. Because at this point, everybody was under the mandate, let's get the ball inside to Asia Wilson and Brianna Stewart and Brittany Griner. And uh, that really took them out of rhythm. So it's no surprise they shot four for 20 from three point range. But uh, players like Kalia Copper uh, are, are going to be able to uh, feel themselves a little more. Jewel Lloyd, same thing. She really struggled in the opener, shooting 0 for 4 from the field. Probably will play more than 11 minutes this time around. Uh, so we should see more out of Kelsey Plum as well. Uh, and again, I think that the United States. Their depth, especially the quality depth that they have in this matchup, that edge will go a long way in winning the third and fourth quarters and putting away Belgium the way Germany didn't. So that's our play here. Game is at 3 p.m. on Thursday. Belgium and the United States were laying the points with the United States, minus 23 and a half, expecting a very big win to go to 2-0 in Group C. And we like the over on Sabrina Ginescu, nine and a half points. I think she gets into double digits as our top player prop. Uh, smash that like button for me. Make sure you're subscribed to all of our videos here at Wager Talk TV so you never miss a play. And uh, follow me on Twitter at Mejia De Niro. Uh, I'll be, uh, you know, riding along with all the Olympics and uh, and uh, making in-game bets and whatnot. So you don't want to miss that. You can check out all of my packages at sm.buzz.tdm where I've got uh, a bunch of free plays as well. All right, everybody. We're riding the United States. Put our Homer hat on, lay those 23 and a half points, ride uh, Sabrina Ionescu, and uh, let's get some money. We'll be back this weekend for more action from the Olympics as the first round, the preliminaries, wrap up and uh, lead into the knockout stages as the quarterfinals are around the corner at the Olympics. I'm Tony Mejia. Thanks for watching.